So it's Christmas time, it's the turn of the year, it's a chance to look at where we are and the state of Oxford United as we are and where we want to be in 2023. So, how long have you been in now? Four months? Five I months? think it might only be three months, Chris, although I do feel like something of a veteran now. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I've not stopped since I started, but it's um, been, uh, been brilliant. What have you found in those three months? Well, do you know what? I was actually looking at what I said on day one only the other day. And what I said then was I found some really great people in a club with an enormous amount of potential. And that hasn't changed. You know, we need to get more people in. We need to get more people who can take this, this club where we want it to be. And we've done some really hard work over the last few months to make that happen. And hopefully we'll be able to announce a few key appointments early in the new year. Um, but yeah, my views haven't changed. There's a great club here and some amazing people and it's been an absolute pleasure to work with them over the last few months. One of the things you said was about meeting the fan base or getting to understand the club. We have major long discussions about the club's history, the club's culture, things like that. Do you feel like you've got a grip on that now? Not as much as I'd like actually. Um, you know, we had the fans forum last week which was great for me to actually face to face and, and answer some real you know, not easy questions about how we're taking the club forward. We need to do more. You know, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind over the last few months and I've met with fans both at the stadium and I've met them, as I say, in the fans forum. But, you know, I want to do more of that next year and I want to start to listen and hear and, you know, work out what it means for them going into next year and also into the following season. Have we left ourselves too much to do? Are we still in it? <laughs> you know, the answer to that. Um, listen, we've performed well this year. Our results have been poor. At no stage is that acceptable. Mm. The process of a football club is we had, we had a run in a meeting for a few hours yesterday about the depth of the football club is the best it's been. Mm. I know there's fear and there's different questions and, and different facets of the football club that people might sort of question. But as a whole, it's in a fantastic place. Mm. Um, financially, academy, women's team, but in the community, and we make mistakes along that way as well. And I think um, the biggest thing is obviously the, the, the one viewpoint is what we do in the pitch and where we are in the league, and it's, it's unacceptable where we are. And but, but, but we're all so close. I'm, mm. I'm, and if you look, I'm beaten in ten. You now we've drawn five of the last six, and you think how, mm. how that can't be a coach or, or poor performance that at certain state we've missed opportunities and then you don't want to point fingers at players because they give me everything yeah. and we take that as a, as, a, as, a, as a collective how disappointed we are not to win so from, from my point of view the players have certainly motivated and seeing having Yannick and Josh back I think everyone's seen why I've been frustrated and yeah. not having them and we're still missing Kyle and Sam yeah. who were two strikers yeah. so you you see how far we have come. Right. It's been a hundred percent full on, you know, morning, afternoon, night, and which is great. And we're, we're, we are we're breaking down quite a lot of barriers within the academy. Again, nobody outside of the, the academy in this building will see what's going on, but there's lots and lots of changes going on. There's there's you know values are changing, curriculums changing, you know, facility, everything along the place is, is starting to, to kind of take shape. Still going to take, but we've got two or three different pilot schemes going on in the academy, so lots and lots going on. But yeah, it's it's probably time to just take four or five days and actually go and see what my wife and kids look like. Is the playoffs realistic? Yes, it has to be. You look at where we are in the league, and it's not brilliant, but you look at the clear air between us and the playoff places, and it's it's you know it's easy to say, isn't it? It's converting two or three of those draws into wins that would have made all the difference. And you know we have a history as a club of picking up in the second half of the season. I fully expect that we'll do that, particularly as I saw the team play on Saturday. That gave me an enormous amount of encouragement as we move into next year. So yeah, playoffs, automatic promotion. Look, the reality is automatic promotion is always difficult in this league because there's only two spots available. But I think we stand an incredibly good chance of getting into the playoffs. And, you know, who knows from there on. It's